For many reasons, you may want to synchronize your I.O. boards. This could be all the I.O. boards in a single chassis, or multiple boards across multiple chassis. To synchronize the I.O. boards, all their sample clocks must be equal or derived from the same clock. For external clocking, you can directly feed in a signal at your desired sample frequency to the sync connector on one or more cubes or racks. Routing this clock to all I.O. boards will provide equal sample rates across the chassis. The other option is to supply a one pulse per second signal to all the IOMs. The one PPS can be generated externally, for example from a GPS, or internally by the IOM itself. And this will tame the sample rate clocks. This method also allows for two features. One, the ability to have different sample rates on different I.O. boards. And two, the ability to internally sustain a clock if the external signal becomes disconnected. Let's take a quick look at the internal workings. An adaptive digital phase lock loop, or ADPLL, on each IOM will use the external one pulse per second signal to generate and maintain an internal one pulse per second signal. This allows a UEI chassis to stay synchronized in the event of a wire becoming disconnected or if the one PPS signal is lost or interrupted. The ADPLL then routes this one pulse per second signal to our event module. The event module generates a clock at your specific frequency, which is derived from the internal one pulse per second signal. There are also two event module dividers that can take the output clock from the event module and use an 8-bit integer to divide the clock rate down to a smaller value. These clocks can then be placed onto the back plane for any I.O. board to use. Then each I.O. board is able to divide down these clocks, providing a very flexible way to acquire multi-rate data. So you see, using the one PPS approach provides you with a fault tolerant, flexible solution to clocking multiple I.O. boards across one or more chassis.